Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Public Freakout Videos. Tonight on this episode, we take a look at more entitled Karens who were caught on camera getting triggered. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe with notifications on. Okay, and up first tonight, a man attempts to play a prank on a Target employee by pretending to sneeze on him during the middle of a pandemic. The Target employee tries to brush it off and keep his cool, but ultimately proceeds to put the man in his place and has him thrown out of the store. Let's play the clip and take a look. You can leave the store right now. You're a guest in this house and you can leave right now. Nah, yes, you can leave. Right now. You can leave right now. Don't matter. You can leave right now. You can't keep me. All on sport. Come in, come to electronics as soon as possible. You can't do that. I'm actually yes, I can, man. <laughs> and up next, an entitled male Karen is filmed having an aggressive public freakout in the middle of a busy grocery store. The entitled man is seen on camera getting into the face of multiple customers while wearing what appears to be a Hannibal Lecter type of mask. Employees eventually come over to try and calm the man down, but the situation only continues to get worse. Let's play the clip and have a look. Get the f away from me. Really? You understand? I'll You're... call the fucking police on you. Really? Do not hassle me. Keep it going. What else you got? I don't got anything. I'm trying to check out. What a f***ing fruitcake. Yeah, I'm a fruitcake. What else you got? That's it. Celebrate diversity in guitars. Huh? That's a funny shirt, man. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Can you get out of the way so I can check out? It's harassing me. I haven't done I'm, anything. I'm sorry. Sure, I, I just don't want to hear about myself. Yeah, neither um, do I. So the Those gentleman two. with the clear mask in Register 7 and the at this young lady. I just didn't feel safe, so I started recording, which is what apparently everyone has to do right now. Right. I'll speak with him, but I mean, if he physically assaulted you, you know, it's like the sheriff's department. Yeah. But I'll speak with him about his behavior. You should probably. You need an idea why? Really and up next, a woman is delivering her hair products to her customers by bike. Karen walks by and sees what is going on and begins to confront the business owner because she thinks that what she is doing is illegal. The business owner tells Karen to mind her own business and says that everything she does is completely legal. Karen disagrees though and says that the whole exchange looks extremely shady. So we'll go ahead and play the clip and let's see what you guys think. I was just, gonna, I was just giving you a heads up. Listen, ma'am, you see this is hair extension. Why are you doing it here? Because I can. It's a public park. It's a public park. Do you own the park? Can people pick up here? It's just a pickup. Okay. It looks like a drug deal. I don't care what it looks like. Call the police. I pay fifty thousand dollars in taxes. I pay my mortgage. This so is do how. Do it at your house, lady. If that's I your house, to. do it at your house. If there's a problem, okay. tell someone. Okay. Thank you. I was trying to give you a heads up. Get a heads up. Okay. Thank you. Good. Yeah, girl. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it for the hair services. Thank you, love. I will. Thank you. People don't go around every day. People parking here. I'm telling you, you don't see her this You know what? I'm just saying. I have a legit business. I can't and people, and people are talking about the girl on the bike who's dealing drugs. I don't want to involve police on people. What do you want me to do? Stop my business? Well, I would like you to not do it here. Okay, and up next, we watch on as an entire flight is deboarded because of one woman. Karen had been told multiple times by the airline staff and police officers that she must put her phone into airplane mode so that the plane can take off safely. Karen refuses to do so because she says that she is busy talking to her husband over FaceTime. This obviously leads to a massive public freakout and the police officers begin to get everybody off the plane so that they can deal with the entitled woman. Let's check it out. Hey. Damn. Sorry, folks. I'm gonna have to deboard you. Oh my God, woman, get off the plane! Are you serious? We don't have time. No, get off the plane! Folks, please listen to the flight. No, we've been already on the plane for an hour. You got to be kidding right now. Oh my God. Are you? Are you serious? Really? You suck. Oh, 
Let me stop. It's on the floor, baby. It's on the floor. And up next, the man filming says that he is currently out on a walk getting exercise and has just noticed that a woman has been following him for quite some time. He finally has enough and turns around to confront her. Karen goes on to say that she believes he is up to no good and says that she has never seen the man in her neighborhood before. Karen continues to question the man about his intentions while he tries to walk away from the situation. Let's play the clip and check it out. Y'all see this, yo? Yo, this lady right here been following me for the last block and a half for what I don't know. Lady, why you keep following me, yo? I'm you, too. you see this? You call me for what? Why is you following me? Damn it. All I was doing was jogging around the neighborhood. All I was doing was jogging. You started following me for what? You, Weirdo? What? Do you live in here? Do I live here? Yeah. yeah, I live here. Why are you asking me that question? Where do you live? Who are you? Calm down. You're asking some questions. Is you the police, the security? What you around here, yo? No. Niggas don't know your dog. Yo, get from around me, yo. Stop following me. What is you following me for? Is it because I'm black? This that racist. So you voted for Trump, didn't you, young? No, no, no. Listen, don't bring the racist stuff up. I've just never seen anybody like you around here before. What you mean, like me? And up next, the woman in the bikini has just been called out for her rude and entitled behavior. Both women find each other in the middle of a massive shouting match on the middle of the beach. Let's check it out. Yes, Karen. You're a white trash. Karen. Shut up. Go ahead, Karen. Go yeah. Away. Go away. Yeah, go make go a away, fool no. of yourself. Go ahead. Go away, make no. a fool of yourself. Continue. 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 No, I own a house here. I pay taxes here. Where's your house at? Where's your house? And up next, a mother goes into a Popeye's restaurant that her daughter works at and confronts the manager over how she had treated her. The Popeye's manager had allegedly put her hands on her daughter during her last shift, and this mother is infuriated. She storms into the store and finds herself in the middle of a massive shouting match with the Popeye's manager. The mother is so livid that she is filmed going off on everybody that was involved. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. Excuse me. Let me holler at you. Come on. Let me holler at you. No, 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 come here, no, 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 And up next, we jump right into the middle of a heated altercation between a customer and an employee at McDonald's. Karen is unhappy with the McDonald's experience and begins to lash out at the young employee. The employee pleads with the entitled Karen, asking her to calm down because she is just trying to do her job. Let's play the clip and take a look. Yes, I am. 
corporate. Would you like a would would you would you like a receipt with my name on it? My name's yeah. on this building, ma'am. And that is all we have time for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Public Freak Out videos. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thanks again for watching and catch you in the next one.